so we have here the slave huts. These huts were constructed in 1850 during the slave time and served as camping facilities for slaves working in these salt ponds to collect and ship the salt, one of Bonaire's most important export products. These huts were used as sleeping quarters and place to put away personal belongings of the working teams. Tiny homes. slave homes there and the obelisk at Orange Pan in the early days of salt trading ships would moor outside the reef and small boats would bring the ships their salt originally smoky fires were lit on top of mounds of corals to guide the ships into the correct site for loading there were four pans each producing a different grade of salt later four obelisks one orange, one red, one white, and one blue, representing the flag of the Kingdom of the Netherlands, were constructed at the salt pans. The ships would know by the color-coded obelisk where to anchor for fetching the grade of salt that they were purchasing. The pans were called Orange Pan, Road Pan, Witte Pan, and Blau, Blau Pan. Captains on the salt exporting ships would describe the beauty of the island, the colorful salt ponds, blazing sunsets with pink, flying flamingos, and the singing women who looked like mermaids carrying the salt for the ships anchored offshore. A woman would kneel down on one knee while two men would give a hand, getting the basket full of salt on her head, helping her stand up straight so she could walk away with her heavy load. She would hitch up her skirt, balance the basket full of salt on her head, and walk the plank to the boat at the end of the pier to drop the salt.
Air. There's a lot to see on this island. Here we are on the, uh, I guess, southern uh, side of the island again, where it's calmer. Starting point, explore the countryside of Tras de Montaña. Driving trail, hiking trail, mountain biking trail, a whole adventure area in here. and a graveyard of random stuff. The sun going down there, and it's still nice and warm. Indonesia, Colombia, Brazil, not sure what these uh, signs are about. Japan, Aruba, Italy, Ethiopia, Trinidad and Tobago, Botswana, Nigeria, Pakistan, Denmark, like, oh, the uh, flags for some of those countries. Maybe they were here before also and disappeared. I don't know why they're listed here, but some kind of random uh, assortment of stuff. There's a lot of this island. A lot packed into a small area. 